today we are going to see the demo for bike service php web application now let's see how to start the project first open the xamp control panel start the mysql database and apache web server Next open the Visual Studio code, explore the bike folder, and then click the readme text, here you can see the login details and then project url, copy the localhost php myadmin and paste to the browser. Left side you can able to see the database names. Click the database name you can view the backend database tables. Click the table name you can view the data. For Windows user open the XAMPP control panel. Start the Apache and MySQL. Then click the MySQL admin it will promote you to the web browser. Then you can able to see the backend database tables. Next open the visual studio code, explore the web folder, here you can able to see the project delivery files, explore the js, you can see the angular js file. Click the file name, you can view the source code. And then click the HTML file, you can view the HTML source code. And then click the readme text, copy the project URL and paste to the browser. Here we have two roles, user and admin. Let's start with the user. Before you log in, you have to register. Click the register button. Here you can enter the email ID and password. And then enter the mobile number. Once you do that, click the sign up button, it will be registered. The password must be in 8 digit. It must contain one capital letter, one special character and numbers. Registered successfully. Then log in the user. Here we have several models. Here you can give the test drive request, bike service request and then view the delivery status. Click the test drive request. Here you can view the bike details. If you want to know the loc location, click the Google Map link. Then you can view the location. And then click the request. Here you can give the test drive request. Here you can enter the name, address. And then contact number, date and time.
Once you do that, click the submit button. It will be created. And then click the my drive request. Here you can view the web test drive request details. Here you can view the status whether it is accepted or rejected. And then click the bike service. Here you can give the bike service request. Here you can enter the name, address, contact and then date and time. Once you do that, click the submit button, it will be created. Then click the my bike service status. Here you can view the bike service request details. And then view the status whether it is accepted or rejected. And then click the delivery status. Here you can view the invoice summary details. Here you can using the search options. Next move to the admin. <coughs> Here we have several models. Here you can view the test drive request details, service request details. And then add the categories product showroom and then view the invoice summary details click the test drive request details click the test drive request here you can view the request details here you can update the status whether it is accept or rejected and then click the service request here you can view the service request details. Here also you can update the status whether it is accepted or rejected. And then click the add category. Here you can view the category details. If you want to update or delete anything you can do it here. If you want to add a new category click the add category. Here you can enter the category name then click the submit button it will be added. Then click the product. Here you can view the product details. If you want to update or delete anything, you can do it here. Here you can using the search option. If you want to create a new pro product, click the create product. Here you can enter the product name, product category, price, GST. Once you do that, click the submit button, it will be created. Then click the add showroom. Here you can view the showroom details. If you want to update or delete anything you can do it here. If you want to add a new showroom, click the create showroom. Here you can enter all the fields for creating a showroom. Enter the showroom name. Enter the branch, mobile number, email id, address and then enter the city, google map link and then enter the remarks. Once you enter all the fields, then click the save button, it will be created. Then click the invoice. Here you can view the invoice summary details. If you want to update or delete anything, you can do it here. Here you can using the search options. Here you can search 
like item wise or else if you want to know the particular date invoice summary details enter the from date and then enter the to date then click the get result then you can view the details Here you can view the sales amount, outsource, invoice paid and then balance. If you want to create an invoice, click the create invoice. Here you can enter the start date and then select the due date and then enter the customer email id and then enter the mobile number. Then enter the item and their quantity. And then click the total you can view the total amount then enter the paid amount then update the status once you do that click the submit button it will be created So this is a bike service PHP web application. Code shopping.